Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek and I'm glad you're here. Uh, today we're going to talk about something a little bit serious. Something, um, well, I mean, I've been doing a couple serious videos the last week or so and I kind of want to talk about a few things. Something has actually been bugging me a little bit. Um, actually, there's a whole lot that's been bugging me, but it's just some things I just can't get the words out. And this is why you watch my videos and you notice I'm stuttering all over the place because I'm shaking, I'm nervous, and... Yeah, I don't know. I never used to be that way, but for some odd reason I am, and I don't know why. But I want to talk about a couple things that's really been bugging me a lot lately. Um, as you guys know, everybody has a difference in opinion when it comes to politics. Rather be you're on the left or on the right or if you're in the middle. And there's also things in, like further in between. You can be in the far right, far left, and the middle. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of people in the middle, which I consider myself more in the middle. Even though I have some uh, left views and some right views, I, I kind of stick right in the middle. But I've noticed something in the last few years, which really uh, has annoyed me. Um, if you get on social media, especially like Facebook, and this is something that's common. I don't understand. Um, during the Trump elections, as well as last election, You'll see people making these posts that says, oh, if you voted for Trump, please remove me from your friends list. You know, these people is like they've known each other for 20 years, been best of friends. But that one little thing, like you voted for Trump, you we can't be friends anymore. Well, I don't want anything to do with you. People just throw away years of their companionship and experiences down the drain because somebody has a difference of opinion. Now, I don't see this a lot coming from people on the right. Mainly, it's people on the left that does this. And, you know, I could be wrong, but from my experience, that's what I've seen. I've seen a lot of people come out and they're like, oh, if you, uh, if, I don't care what you say, if you voted for Trump or if you voted right, then we're no longer friends. Go fuck yourself. And it's really childish because it's like, wait a minute, you, we've been friends for 20 years and we've had worse things that happen, and we made it through. But if I voted the way I did, you're not going to be friends with me anymore? You're just going to throw that away? And it's childish. It really is. And I noticed there's a lot of people on my Facebook friends list that does this just all the time. And I'm just like, I never really get on there and I give my opinion on it. I used to whenever I was like heavily liberal. I used to all the time. Talk about Obama, I would basically get in like Facebook fights because I voted, I was a hardcore liberal, and you know, there's things I've noticed lately where I've had to call people out and be like, hey, um, I don't understand why you're acting this way, considering the fact that you used to be this certain way and now you're flip-flopping and you're saying people, you know, are idiots, which here's the thing, here's the thing. If you believe something on the left, if you're right, religion, uh, if you believe UFOs are real, UFOs are not real, or if you like cheeseburgers and the other person likes veggie burgers, I'm not going to tell you I dislike you for that. Now, if you did something heinous, like being, I don't know, a pedophile, a rapist, a murderer, a Nazi, an actual Nazi, a racist, like a real racist, not, hey... You voted left, you're, I mean, you voted right, you're automatically a racist Nazi. I'm talking about legit racists and legit Nazis, legit rapists, and all that stuff. Then I have a problem. I will call you out. I probably won't say anything about it on Facebook. I'll just delete your ass. I mean, if you get on my Facebook or Twitter, you're spewing out all kinds of hate. Now, a lot of weird things about this is the fact that people say if you voted right, you're full of hate. And again, from my experience, that's not been the case. A lot of it has stemmed from people on the left um, saying hateful, heinous things. If you would have seen some of the riots that happened uh, just last year and the year before, um, you would see clips that wasn't covered by mainstream media of people saying, hey, uh, well, there's one in particular I've seen. This girl gets removed from a riot. And she tells the cops, that, I hope you guys die. I hope your family dies. And all this stuff, like terrible things. Like, I don't, and I don't understand. I don't know where the hate comes from. And I kind of feel like 
our generation has got worse and worse. And as time goes on, it gets worse and worse. And you have people that become so smug and up their own asses that they're no longer the same person. And it really does bug me a lot. I hate it. I really do. You know, I've got friends like that that's done that. And you know what? I still consider you my friend. I don't think you're an idiot. I don't think anything of it. I think you might be taking things way too far. And I get, I'm not going to give out names or anything, but I think some people do that. And it's really annoying, really bad, because, you know, if, say, this video gets seen by one of my friends or somebody else, they're going to be like, well, you're a racist. Your opinion doesn't matter, you white male. You're white, too. You're, you're also white. You're, you're a white male. No, no, um... Racism, fascism, racist, you, you damn guy, and your whiteness, you're fucking white. Your, your girlfriend's white. Your kids are white. Stop being white and calling out white people. Call them for what they are. If <laughs> you're, you're basically judging somebody of the color of your skin and your fight is racism. And what does racism usually imply is it's based on skin color. You're white, black or whatever. And here you are being a white person and this could, you could be a black person or you could be somebody else, you know, whatever. And you call out somebody based on their skin color. That is still racism. You can't say that white people you know, judging against white people is not racist because racism is inherently based on skin color. That's what it is. It's exactly what it is. It's always been that way. I mean, back in the, you know, back in the day, slave trades, that was based on white and black. You had the um, civil rights movement, white and black. I kind of feel like us as a country has grown so much since then. I, I feel like that. And nothing's worse, like, we, we had that Jesse Smollett case where he faked a hate crime all over these media outlets. And everybody, everybody on the left tried to defend him. And whenever it started coming out that this guy was a fucking liar, they started backing away from it. They're like, wait a minute, we didn't say that. But we still believe in Jesse Smollett. We still believe him. Even though it's been proven at this point, I believe it was five out of six different um, cases against him. Like, he lost, he got confirmed guilty for those five. So, he was guilty. He tried to flame a race war. And it doesn't help anybody. It doesn't. It doesn't help the case. Racial tensions in this country is at an all-time high. Not as high as you would think, but it's still pretty high. You know, I feel for, you know, any POC that, you know, feels hated on. But I also feel for the white people that's being hated on. I don't like to see, you know, people fighting each other over skin color, you know, religion, politics. Then you have class wars. Well, I'm rich, you're poor. You know, I know I'm just spewing off things that kind of pisses me off, but I would never tell you, again, unless you did something completely fucked up, I would never, like, throw our friendship away or companionship or belittle you because of your opinion. Especially when, a few years prior, that person was berating you because of the same thing. You're not an idiot. Well, some people might be idiots. That's just how it is. I don't think I'm an idiot. I don't think you're an idiot. I think that you might be a smart individual. I think, you know, give time. We could be friends. We can hang out and drink beer and stuff. Well, probably not literally. Maybe online. Maybe I get on Twitch when I finally decide to actually stream instead of being like, ah, Man, I don't think I can stream. Kind of, I don't know. It's kind of, I, I'm, I'm working on it. Which, yeah. This this stuff's been crazy. I, I kind of hope that with the Jesse Smollier, Juicy Smollier case, that he gets a punishment 
for what he's done. That way other people can't be faking race wars, like hate crimes. Does that make sense? I know, but I'm not going to get my words out. I know this. And I know there's probably going to be a comment saying, you fat incel, you white fat incel. You can't talk because you got stuttering problems. You're a nervous wreck. I am. I am. I admit it. I'm a nervous wreck. But I still care. I still care about you. It's like, as far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, we're all friends here. I don't care what color your skin is. I don't care what you believe in terms of politics. As long as I said, as long as you're not a rapist, a murderer, or a racist, or a pedophile, then we're good. We're, we're actually good. Good on terms. I don't really care. I mean, unless you're an actual full-blown dickhead, then I'd still give you a chance. But as long as you're not spewing hateful shit like that. Now, again, this even goes with people on the left. If you tell me because the way I voted... The what I believe in is wrong and you don't want to be friends anymore. What kind of a person does that make you? I don't get it. I mean, are you so fucked up that you have to make other people not happy? Like, to cover your own ass, I guess? Is that, is that the right way of saying it? It's not the right way of saying it, but you might get my drift. You spew so much hate and negativity that you don't really take a look at the bigger picture. And I'm sure you're thinking whenever you're making these posts that you're doing something awesome and standing up for your beliefs. But anymore, people's beliefs is based on clicks. It doesn't matter what you believe in. Take a look at Santa Inc. that just came out by Seth Rogen and uh, Sarah Silverman. Nobody wanted to see that. Nobody wanted to see a Christmas cartoon where... It's based on sex and race, especially when the racial stuff in that show is pretty deep, pretty stereotypical stuff, which is embarrassing to say the least. And actually, the show is getting torn apart. I'm not going to watch it. I've seen the trailer. I've seen what they're trying to do. I've seen how these top actors was like feeling about you, like whenever they make this, what they say about people that, you know, don't like it, calling you a white supremacist or a Nazi. Like Seth Rogen posted on Twitter. Oh, we really piss a lot of white supremacists off. The fuck off, man. Really. Just fuck off. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Let me know what you think. And again, feel free to hit me up if you have any questions or if you know need somebody to talk to. Because here's one more thing. Um, uh, one more thing. Sorry about that. Uh, one more thing is... If you're having problems with things like depression, suicide, or thoughts, get at me. You don't have to do this alone. I deal with it every day. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.